the opening today because we decided September 24th we are going to do the opening inside Mocha or outside Mocha and we are committed for that despite that the cancellation of the board members of uh, uh, Mocha Museum. Here we are, the people they are raising their voices, people coming to the exhibition and this is an amazing moment. No for censorship, no for silence, the Palestinian people, the Palestinian children, and this is a moment for justice. Children of the Palestinians here we are representing here today. They have a right to speak and show their art also. So if we cut it off for them, we'll be cutting it off for a whole lot of people, including myself. about what's happening around. I mean, life is not like Disney Disney movies. They need to be aware of what, what's going in the world and they need to stand for justice. No child should be censored, especially a child of Gaza where the adults are censored as well. I'm here today because I feel this is one of the most important issues of our time. Justice and freedom for Palestinians should be paramount for every concerned and humane human being. And I hope that people will start fighting for Palestinian rights. And I believe in solidarity and I believe in struggle and I think that these photos really depict on what's actually happening on the ground inside of Gaza and I think for Israeli lobbyists to counteract that and to say that you know these art that this art is fake or that children aren't actually drawing this art is just kind of a reality check to themselves that this is what's happening inside of Gaza these are the lives of the children not just also inside of Gaza but in the West Bank and in all of 48 who are going through this and these are pictures of of war crimes that Israeli is conducting on the people and especially on our children and especially for our future. So I think that this is a very beautiful event because you can obviously tell that there is so many people who are in agreement with us and who do who do understand the Palestinian national struggle. go through occupation and these pictures are very very heartbreaking to me and I want to stop. And I'm here because I'm supporting the kids in Palestine who don't see anything else but these drawings. But I think that um, what people fail to realize is the, the reality of what these children live through every day. We know this from our relatives in Gaza, from my, my wife's family, and from many that we know uh, growing up under these circumstances. And um, also from my background in art, I understand that the environment affects us. What children witness every day um, is, is, what they, um, is, 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 what, is what they express, and they express in many, in many ways. And um, looking at the art, you can see that it's not just daily events of battles and war and uh, hard times, but it's also a, a, a deeper sense of, of loss. Um, and it's not only death, but it's the, uh, the struggle of a nation and uh, oppression. This 
sends clear message for all the people or all the groups try to silence the people living under oppression and especially the Palestinian people. The people behind this, the decision to cancel the exhibition, I can say they failed today. They tried to stretch the siege from Gaza to Oakland. But here we are today. We are doing the opening and we are very proud of all of you. Was it the 8th of September? The uh, head of the board of MOCA came to the Middle East Children's Alliance and had a meeting with Ziad and Sophia and myself. And he brought two members of two women who work at MOCA and they said that they were very sorry. He said that he was very sorry, but the exhibit would not be allowed to be shown at MOCA. This really caught us off guard because Sophia, who brought this exhibit here, had been meeting with the staff for, for six months. And they were very, seemed to be very excited about the exhibit coming. So we were upset, very angry, and Sophia and I then spent the next two weeks looking at spaces and uh, talking to a million people, asking them if we could hang the exhibit there. We found this space the day before yesterday, and at 10 o'clock yesterday morning, we signed the lease for two months. And anybody's interested in coming down and taking a day to be here while it's open, that would be great. And um, yesterday, three, one of the board members from Boca called, and he said to me that he would like to have a meeting. And I said, why? And he said, he wants to meet with me and discuss the possibility of having this exhibit at MOCA, but it would be a modified, modified exhibit. Uh, MECA doesn't modify for anybody. what he could do with the exhibit, except we own it. I said, we're now we're neighbors, we're around the corner from you. We will not hang this exhibit there. He said that they had now written up a new policies for exhibits and he'd like to talk to me about it because they'd like to work with us. And I said that that was a great idea because I was going to Palestine and going to bring back a second exhibit which shows the children's feelings about being told that their work wasn't going to hang at the museum. So I'm really happy that all of you came and everybody who worked on this. And I have to say that there were hundreds of people in the community who offered to have this exhibit. But Sophie and I thought it should be in a fabulous place and we chose this. But there's been an enormous amount of support and MOCA was stupid. If they had just hung the exhibit, maybe just those of us who are here today would have come to see it. That would have been the end of it. But as it is, the whole world now knows about this. People in Denmark and Turkey, all over the world, are calling to ask to have a copy of this exhibit. So thank you, MOCA.